Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy. I'm Robin. And today is an Aldi day. Yay! We love our Aldi. We do love our Aldi. So it's kind of a mixture of comparison and just new products. New products I found at Aldi and also some gluten-free. Um, people that do eat gluten-free, they do have a good selection of gluten-free food that's much cheaper than yeah. national brands, I guess. Right. First of all, <laughs> if you have seen any of our other videos, the Aldi videos, we have two other ones. Um, so I thought we, you know, would try other gluten-free yellow cupcake, you know, I thought we'd try that, compare it to the, <laughs> the Betty Crocker. So I thought, oh, okay, this one, is, this one was $1.99 compared to $4.59 at Publix mm -hmm. for the, so I'm getting ready to make them last night. I'm like, it's like deja vu. <laughs> so I went back to our last Aldi video and we have done this. We did this that. exact same one mm -hmm. with Betty Crocker. Mm -hmm. And that was a blindfold taste test. Even though it was my neighbor Karen was joining us. So we had never had gluten-free cupcakes. So we didn't know what was what brand anyway. So it, that really didn't matter. Yeah. Uh, but we thought the better tasting one was Betty Crocker, but it, it wasn't. We thought it would be. It would but be. But it was just, not. It was not. It yeah. was the Aldi. Live G free at Aldi for a dollar ninety nine. Yes. So I will link that video up here, here, here. And you can check that out if you want to. Yeah. But I did get the Live G free brownie mix. Mm -hmm. Compared yeah. to the Betty Crocker brownie mix. So, so once again, it was a dollar ninety nine. A dollar ninety nine, and then the brownie mix was four fifty nine too. Okay. This is, so the same. So here, you can tell the difference. Yeah. It kind of looks like the box. So this one is the um, the Aldi. Mm -hmm. It's more dense. Looking. And this one is the Betty Crocker. It still looks dense too. But yeah, you yeah. Can tell. Yeah. Uh, my husband and son did try these last night. Okay. But I won't say which one they like better. Okay. This is Betty. Go try Betty first. Mm-hmm. That's a good brownie. Good and fudgy. Fudgy, yes. Mm-hmm. What do they use? Rice flour? Betty? Yes. Mm -hmm. Rice flour. And right. yeah, potato starch and corn starch. Yeah, I wouldn't know that so. was gluten free. I mm -mm. wouldn't. Mm -mm. No. It's like regular flour in there to me. Yeah. Alright. Right. This one had uh, chunks of chocolate in it. Mm. This one is not. Mm -hmm. Also, a good browning though. There's a little bit of taste after. Do you feel it's have that different kind of taste? Not really. That's flour too. Um, yeah. But if I... And tapioca flour. Okay. It's really good and a very good flavored brownie. I wouldn't know they were gluten-free. The only difference for me is the Betty Crocker is more fudgy chocolatey. Yes. But you said it had the chocolate chunks. Yeah, it has some a few chunks in there, you see. All right. Yeah. But if I, I don't eat gluten free, but if I did, for the price, I would go with the mm, G free. I would too. Even you though wouldn't. I do like the Betty a little better, I don't know if it's worth the three. I don't think you would miss the chunks if you didn't know. Right. You know, so no, for I agree. I, I would too. But I was, yeah. and, you know, mm -hmm. I hear gluten free and you think, ugh. Right, you think cardboard. Right, exactly. But these were not. No. Okay. Very good. So we also have, we'll stick with, well, a lot of the stuff's gluten free, but well, um, these are Live G Free Snickerdoodles. They're soft, but to be honest, I don't think. And they're pre made. Yeah. Okay. I just, mm, I don't know if these are going to be. Oh. We'll see. I'll keep an open mind. I'm going to, too, but the look of it scares me after our last experience. Yeah, with. It's low carb. Yeah. It's not low carb, no. but this is just fluffy. Yeah. Smells, smells good. good. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> but it's um not bad. No, it's good. Very cinnamony. Mm-hmm. 
um, I don't know if I would call it a cookie. It's like a, cook, a cross between a cookie cake. and a cake. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because it's very thick. Yeah, it's thick. I don't like it. Yeah, but, mm, okay. Good. And how much was it? Mm. Okay, there. Two forty-nine. dollars mm. So not bad. No. For 12 cookies? No. Look free. Yeah. They also had these really in good. chocolate also. Um... There are yeah, it's brown rice. Yeah, they're good. No, yeah, I think they're really good. Um, if you have a gluten sensitivity. Right. Yeah. All right. Something else was gluten free was their stuffing mix. They do have a whole like end cap of gluten free items. Yeah, they do. It's really nice. Um, okay. Yeah. This is chicken. John loves this kind of stuffing. Like stuff, top stuffing. I'm good. I'm gonna read it. It's good. Mm, yeah. I wouldn't. Mm -mm. That's really good. I think very flavorful. I think gluten free just gets a uh, bad rap. Mm -hmm. Because we automatically think, ugh. No taste. Right. But this is really good. Um, yeah, no, I like that. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know at no, all. No, no. Absolutely not. Now these. I found very interesting because they are low carb. They are basically spaghetti, traditional pasta it's not low <clears> alternative. Carb. Right. That is, yes, these are low carb. And these are beans. Yes, they're beans. The soybean. This is ugh. black bean. Black bean soy oh, Black soybean. Black mm. soybean. And this is just soybean. And then this one's edamame. This is the soybean. And then edamame. So let's start with this, the black soybean. Okay. So for two ounces, which is a regular serving of pasta, it's 180 calories, three grams of fat. So it's 19 carbs, but it has 11 grams of fiber. fiber. So you can subtract that. It would be eight, gram, eight grams of carbs. Yeah. Um, Non-GMO, high in fiber, they're vegan and gluten-free. Because this is they have a lot going organic on. black soybean flour. Yeah, this is organic. So that's all that's in here. Yeah, that's all that's in any of these. It's what they say it is. So one ingredient. But I don't know. <laughs> it's, and then is this just plain? There's nothing on there's it? There's nothing on it. Okay. Thought we would get the true. You're just going to eat one? I mean, can you taste just one? I'm afraid. I would... From the spell, the smell when I dumped out the water was pretty strong. Um, I don't get that. With the, the taste, isn't very strong. Uh, it's not bad. It's very al dente. Yeah, it's not, not mushy. Mm, I don't. I like you it. You put some sauce on it. I don't. Mm -mm. I would be very. I'd be. I like it better than the pasta we had the other day from. Uh, I do too, and I like it better Trimsland. than my brown rice pasta that I try to use. This was. Two sixty nine. They were they were oh. all two sixty nine. Not bad. No. Four. Like it. It's a seven ounce box. No, I like that. Soybean. And you can find lots of like low sugar sauces. Right. That are really good. Mm, this one's even better. Mmm. Mm hmm. More like pasta. Yeah. And this one is seven. Would be seven. Mm hmm. Grams of carbs. That's good. Yeah. You put butter and salt in that. Yeah, I really like that a lot. And now we're moving on to edamame. Mm. You just close your eyes, not look at the color. <laughs> well, I don't mind the color. I'm pretty trying to give it to a kid. Mm. Mm. A hint of edamame. Which I like in a moment, so, but, I mean, if sauce was on it. Yeah. If you're looking for pasta to pasta, the regular soybean is the better. Right. But I don't mind the added flavor of the black soybean or the edamame. And what was the carbon? Oh, uh, seven. Seven. So two ounces. That's not bad at all. Yeah. No. I think it's a great alternative to regular pasta. Absolutely. You I would get a lot I of would, fiber. It's a whole lot of fiber. Right. So, and you know, and that's pasta, okay. you're not getting that. No. No. So, so I'm okay with that. 
a lot of people like the bars. Mm -hmm. The Atkins low carb, and this is Elevation. The I try to get the same brand because this uh, this does say it's compared to um, the Atkins okay. Indulge. So oh yeah, Indulge. Okay. So uh, is it the calories? No, it's 130 calories for this bar. 130 for this bar. Eight. Eight bats. Mm -hmm. What about um, carbs? 17, but fiber, fiber. Six, on here it's 17 carbs, six are fiber, and then it has the sugar alcohol, which is nine. This is 10. Mm -hmm. And protein in this, each of these is five. So it's two net carbs in this one. Two net carbs. They're both the oh. two net carbs. Where do you see that? Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm happy. Here's the difference. These were, $5.99 for five. So you're paying for that name. $3.49. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back to Aldi and look and I'll put the price here. For but five. For five. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. Maybe the same the ounce. Uh, 1.2. So 1.2 ounce. 1.2 ounce. These are. 1.2 ounce. Oh, yeah. Okay. It might be a little bigger. A little bigger. It's it's longer. Yeah, it's not as thick. Yeah. So there's Atkins. Atkins. This is the carbon. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like in the um, the Atkins there's actually nuts, real. Oh. oh, oh, I see one in there too. Oh yeah. There. Mm -hmm. there are peanuts. So this no. is the nut cluster, the caramel nut chew bar. Caramel nut. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It tastes like a Snickers. Yeah. The peanut and the caramel. Caramel. Yeah, this one's a little thicker. Mm hmm. But thicker, kind of fluffier, but. The flavor is the exact same. And yeah. I would definitely go for it. For the price, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I did have a request for these. Or, <clears throat> you've probably seen the Halo Top and the Enlightened. There's all kinds of brands out there now that mm -hmm. have the, that show, you know, how much the whole pint has. So like this one has 280 calories in this whole container and this one is 240. And they have a lot of protein. Mm -hmm. Aldi has these in three flavors. They have the chocolate, vanilla, and mint chocolate chip. Okay. I don't like mint chocolate chip, oh, no, so I didn't get that one. But I thought we would compare these. Were 279, I'm sorry. 279. A pint? Yes. Okay. I found, I, I thought, I have, in the past we have reviewed the Halo Top versus Enlightened. So I thought we would try the Briars. I have not had the Briars, but that was the closest one as far as calories I could find. And this one was actually on sale for 350. So that wasn't bad. Some of them are like over $4 yeah. and they're very pricey. So. And what is that flavor? <clears throat> vanilla? Vanilla. So it was vanilla to vanilla. This. So it's three servings in here, which is 90 calories and seven grams. Oh, that's interesting because this, this is four servings. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What's the calories? Half a cup, 60. Okay, so it's less. So this is two thirds of a cup. It's the same. It's curve. the same, Fine. I'm sure, right. No, they look. It looks like a little, a little vanilla bean. Yeah. So I'll try the, what do they call it? Sunday shop? It's the old Sunday brand. shop, yeah. It's hard. Oh. Very hard. You guys sounded like a little puppy dog. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. Have you had any of these? The Halo Top? The Halo. <clears throat> I've tried the Halo Top. The other. The Enlightened. It just, it tastes watered down. Yeah, maybe. Does that makes sense? Yeah. Like not as creamy, but still great flavor, and it doesn't. So it almost is like ice milk, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, this one's much softer. Yeah, and I think that's because it must have more water. But I and it has to be something. I'll probably churn it, maybe. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's a little creamier. Yeah. Well, 
And it does say made with fresh cream. This is milk and cream. This is milk and cream. Yours is, yeah, it says milk and cream. This is skim milk, soluble corn fiber, the erythritol, and then milk protein. Like it's different. So cream is further down the line? Mm hmm That's interesting. Mm hmm So for this one, for the 279 if I could get the Briars for 350 I would probably pick the Briars. Yeah, for that creaminess. But if it was up to $4, I probably wouldn't. No, because I don't think... And I think if we let this soften a little bit, we could get bigger scoops. Right. We may feel like it's creamier, but we weren't able to get as much in our spoon. Right, because this wasn't as yeah. hard. Right, so let's just try to... But no, it's good, and for the price, if you need a vanilla bean fix... The lower. Yeah. Or they call it low-fat ice cream. Yeah, they call it low-fat ice cream. Low-fat. 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 It's chocolate. Ugh. Scare me. Okay. I know. My face. <laughs> Flat. Yeah, and my elbow I'm gonna get you. Chocolate. Chocolate ice cream. Yeah. And that just that doesn't taste watered down at all. I mean, it just tastes like ice cream, chocolate ice cream. Right. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I would definitely. Yeah. This one has, but this whole thing has 24 grams of protein. But so the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. It, it does. It has the erythritol in it too, doesn't yeah, I think it? They like I do. taste it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Put these away. Okay. So I love looking around Aldi because you find new things, and I think that it's kind of fun to try it new is things. Fun. Hey, um, my sister-in-law Molly, well Molly and Amy, they're both sister-in-laws, they're huge, huge, huge Aldi shoppers, have been for many years, and of course we've all tried to convert John for many years, but Molly was telling me there's a Facebook page that you can join. Aldi fans? Aldi fans, <laughs> yes, and you get like... Inside scoop on oh, to what's coming. What's coming. Oh, because those you know cheese wraps. I've heard. Yes. February 1st, they're supposed to have the cheese wraps. She bought, she got her husband like a puffy vest. Mm -hmm. And like, I mean, like, and it's real. Anyways, she, but she's part of it. And I'm pretty sure she said Facebook. And I've been meaning, it, it was said in passing, and I've been meaning to sit down and, and do it. And I got crazy. So we're going to look into that. And if you guys know anything about right. it, let us yeah, know. Yeah, because I love looking at the extra stuff they did. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Actually, the blanket I have in my bed came from Aldi. Yeah. So. It's funny because there are times uh, I'll drop kids off and, at school, and I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to go walk through Aldi. And Annie always says, You like to do that a lot. Don't you? <laughs> So. Yeah. Aldi is not paying us, by the way. No, they and are not. We, we had, just love them. We've had a comment on another video on our blind taste test that I don't know if people think we're being paid by Aldi, but they thought because you know y'all were sitting right next to me and I was doing it that you could hear what I was doing. Oh, but maybe we're in no that. way trying mm -hmm. to no one over the. It's just our personal taste of what right. we like better. Yeah. It, I mean, we have no nothing to gain from no, just money. We have money to gain because we're right, spending for less. Right, for safety. Yes, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. So, I'm sorry if you think we were cheating in some way. We are. We weren't. Okay. So I thought these were super cute. These tala paninis. I never eat them, but I do like them. So this one is three meat. <laughs> Uh, and the three meat is ham, pepperoni, and salami. So like an Italian. Yes. Okay. And this one is a Cuban style. Okay. And I love Cubans. I love Cubans. Awesome. Tam, uh, pork, cheese, pickles, and mustard. And I lived in Florida, this place, a little house. It was like an ice cream shop. And they had the best Cuban. And I have not found one since. That I like as much. Oh. So these, let's see. It's packaging convenient tray for baking or microwaving. So let's see what this is. Ooh, it smells good. You can smell that. Oh, yeah. So we've got a cute little tray. Okay. Let's see the sandwich. Ooh, it's heavy. Oh, yeah. 
pork and the cheese. And it's like a Cuban. Yep. It does. So that they're made out of, that's unbleached wheat flour. This part of the microwave, 60 to 90 seconds, cool one minute, or you can also do it in the oven, but that takes 15 to 18 minutes. I'm not going to do that. These were $1.99. I didn't what? think that was bad at all. No, I think it's really good. So I'm going to heat these up. Yeah. Okay. So if you are watching your carbs, your carbs, <laughs> your <laughs> calories, <laughs> your good protein, but the Italian has 610 calories, 32 grams of fat, but has 28 um, protein, 52 carbs. Yeah. The um, Cuban has 420 calories, 11 fat, 54 carbs, and 26 protein. So this is not on our diet. I just thought these were fun. Yeah. <laughs> and for a once in a while treat. Yes. So how do you feel about Italian sandwiches? Well. Because it is meats. Mix them. I know, I know, I know. But like, I'm okay. Like, like I, well, I don't, I don't ever get Italians. Um, like what would be your sub? My sub that I go to is a Philly cheesesteak. Okay. All oh, hands down with yeah. the onions and the. Green peppers, and I would love to add mushrooms to it. And not a fan. I love them, but it's one meat and cheese. Um, I now, always go for the ham and cheese, so that's still just one meat. Right. I enjoy a meatball as well, a meatball yeah, sub. I do not like a meatball sub. So I do love Cubans, and I know that's a little bit of a mix. It's pork and ham. Yeah. Which, still a pig. So. <laughs> right. And. Um, I also love uh, Rubens. Oh, Rubens. Love Rubens, but again, that's one meat as well. Right. So anyway, I don't. I understand. I won't. Uh, she's weird. Let's just say she's weird. I mean, salami, pepperoni, very similar, but then you throw some ham in there, and I just I'm not a fan. But I mean, who We're knows? I might like it. I mean, I'll never get it, but the I mean, bread is so. I mean. You did, yeah. I do microwave. question just because it's microwaved. I think um, the oven would probably be better. Mm-hmm. But this is actually really good. Mm -hmm. I just taste pepperoni. That's good. Yeah. Mmm. That mm. is good. Yeah. I hate that. I like it. Yeah. Mm. For $1.99, that's an even mm. better sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's like eating a pizza pocket. Mm. And I don't mind the bread being microwaved. It's, mm -mm. Mm -mm. That doesn't bother me at all. No, it's like a soft pizza crust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. So there you go. Look at me meat, meat mixing. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> it is greasy. Mm. That's the 54 uh, grams of fat. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, 32, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. It's not bad. Mm -mm. I could use a little mayo on it. I don't really taste the mustard. The mustard's not real prominent, which usually mustard is. Right. Do this one. I'm not going to pickle either. I could just wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Just pickle on this one. Oh, this one? And this, I think, would definitely be better in the oven. Mm -hmm. That was a little better. I got more than mustard. And more cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one definitely better in the oven. It's still good. It was yeah. It's a good flavor. Good. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not the best cube I've ever had, no, but... But really good. But it's good and for mm -hmm. $1.99. Um, of the two, I prefer the Italian was Me better. Me too. That was really good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, for $1.99, that's, yeah. that's a good size sandwich. It could away. Seven ounce. Seven ounce. So thumb up on that one. That was Absolutely. good. Absolutely. So there was nothing that we didn't like. No. I mean, everything was good. Yes. And the prices, you know, the Aldi prices were good. Yeah. Um, I forgot where someone was. Someone said their Aldi prices are higher than the oh. Walmart and the regular grocery store. I think it may have been out in California. Wow. No, they haven't in California. I forgot where it was, but it was a higher hmm. higher cost of living area anyway. But I was still surprised to see that. Yeah. Because I thought that's their whole thing is to keep in prices lower. Mm -hmm. And this year they are rolling out. They're supposed to, isn't everything supposed to be um, organic? that they sell? Or, yeah. No, I think it was supposed to be a percentage. It was like a high, like 75% was supposed to be all organic. Yeah. So they were starting to roll all that stuff what out. What was the other the thing I the saw? Year. 
I'm and I questioned it. It's a commercial. Oh, oh, now. it was. Uh, they get fresh vegetables in every, every day. Every day, fresh. Yeah, produce, fresh produce every day. I don't, but, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that. I don't know, but they it is run, the commercial is running here. Yeah, I've heard it too. Man. So, so do we go sit outside Aldi and see if they get a truck every day <laughs> of their produce? Yeah, but maybe they do. I don't know. Yeah, I mean. They, Marshall can't lie, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyway, I don't think you can go wrong with any of no. these. I oh, think they were all very good. Um, the pasta, very impressed with the pastas. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you've tried any of these, let us know in the comments below. Or is there something else at Aldi that we need to try? Let us know in the comments below. So you know what that means. It's time for... Question of the day. Yay. What is the question? Oh. <laughs> What is the most impressive thing you can do? Let's keep it clean. <laughs> um, hmm. I will say decorating cakes. That's, oh, that's, yeah, that, that, that's yeah, that's all that I is, got. That's really good. Yeah, you are. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay, me. It's gonna be good. <laughs> well, no, it's not that good, but it's really impressive, and it's impressive to me that I, when painting a room, mm -hmm. I can cut in without um, taping. No tape. Mm -hmm. And I rarely make a mistake. Oh, that is good. Like I can, I have a very steady hand and can cut in, and I and I never, so I never tape. Okay, so I need to come over and paint a few rooms. <laughs> very impressive, isn't it? That's yeah, impressive. it is. It is impressive. Yeah, because I I don't do well at that at all. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So we're impressive. Yeah. Did we impress you? Yes. Let us know. <laughs> Why should we be impressed by you? Yeah, I'm having fun with these questions. Okay? Yeah. It is fun. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.